The nation's oldest Roman Catholic law school establishes its own religious liberty clinic. In a statement describing the importance of the groundbreaking initiative at Notre Dame Law School, Dean G. Marcus Colt says in part, without freedom of conscience to believe and then to live our lives as our beliefs require us, nothing else matters. Professor Stephanie Barclay has been selected to launch and lead the Notre Dame Religious Liberty Clinic, and she joins us now by Skype. Stephanie, welcome back to the show, and congratulations on your new position. That's wonderful news. Thank you, Tracy, and thank you for having me. Absolutely. Uh, as a First Amendment scholar, let's talk about the significance of this effort in support of religious freedom at a Catholic law school, and also why do this now? Well, I think that Notre Dame Law School recognizes what an important issue this is. As, as you noted, Dean Marcus Cole said that without the freedom to believe and to live your life consistent with that belief, nothing else matters. Notre Dame is really, I think, uh, positioned to be a natural leader in this national dialogue that is taking place right now about the importance of religious liberty. And I'm excited to be a part of that and to contribute to an initiative that will focus on equipping the next generation to defend the vital right that is religious liberty. Stephanie, I know you'll be preparing the next generation of lawyers who will protect and defend religious freedom. What do you see as their biggest challenge and also an opportunity? Well, in my career, I've had the opportunity to defend lots of different types of groups or individuals facing challenges with religious liberty. I've, I've defended Native Americans who had their sacred burial grounds bulldozed. I've defended um, a Muslim woman who was discriminated against for wearing a religious headscarf and the Little Sisters of the Poor before the United States Supreme Court. And in all of these cases, the common theme that is at stake for these people is the ability to live their lives consistent with their most deeply held convictions, whether that takes them to a place of faith or of no faith at all. And I think a challenge, but also an opportunity for these students is learning about that important principle and help explaining to others uh, and preserving this principle that is important to the dignity of everyone, whether religious or not. Well, uh, recent restrictions related to the COVID-19 pandemic have also placed restrictions on in-person worship. What are your thoughts on that as you've watched it play out? And also, I'd like to get your thoughts on the lawsuits that were found in response to those restrictions. Sure. Well, there's no question that we're facing difficult times right now, not the least of which is the worldwide pandemic that we're dealing with. And certainly, safeguards are needed to protect public health. But when we're seeing government officials allowing gatherings for individuals to exercise freedom of speech rights and to participate in important protests that we've seen recently, it's a double standard when the government doesn't allow people to gather for other First Amendment religious reasons. And when we see government allowing non-essential businesses to open up and offer retail therapy, it's unconstitutional when the government won't allow people to gather for spiritual therapy. And really what is the underlying principle in a lot of these conflicts is that religious liberty is not the eccentric uncle of the human rights family. It's an important right that government needs to, at the very least, treat in an even-handed way when it comes to the way it's regulating its citizens. Well, Stephanie, thank you so much for coming on and speaking to us. We really appreciate it. And also, congratulations on your new appointment. Very exciting. Stephanie Barclay, Associate Professor of Law at Notre Dame Law School. Thanks again, Stephanie. Thank you.